Something very strange is going on inside a store in downtown Prattville. I get this. We have a broom standing upright and unsupported on its bristles. No wires, no glue, no kidding. WSFA 12 News reporter Brian Henry checked it out. It's really unexplainable to me. What in the world is going on here? A lightweight broom standing alone. Ooh, no, I didn't have the ooh kind of feeling or spooky kind of feeling. It was more of just, how is it doing that? It all started late last week for Christy Burdett when she and her sister were getting their new consignment shop ready to open. This three-tier cabinet behind us here was sitting in the middle of the floor. She just pulled on it, tugged it, and pushed it back towards the back. And when she turned around, she said, Christy, grab your camera. And I said, I don't have a camera for what? And I'm behind the counter, couldn't see the broom. I could see the top of it. Um, and she said, well, look at the broom. So I, I leaned over the counter, looked at the broom, and sure enough, it was standing on its own. From here, the news about the strange broom swept through town, generating hundreds of curiosity seekers, according to Burdett. Twenty-five hours later, literally, it's still standing, and here we are. You know, it, and it, it's one of those things that people ask, well, you know, everybody thought it was glued to the floor. Push it a little, and the broom stays in place. Knock it down. And you can put it right back where it was, not just in the center of the store, but in two other locations as yeah. well. There's a little Holy Spirit in here, I think. <laughs> back in the center, the broom takes a spot just inches away from an electrical plug. A connection? Maybe, but Burdett isn't buying it. The electrician that we had hired to do all the work had not restored these yet. Christy Burdett says she is not the least bit spooked about this. As a matter of fact, she's already making plans to make this a selling point for her new business. But it's definitely not leaving the shop. In the meantime, Christy Burdett is going about her preparations to get her business ready to go, satisfied with leaving the mystery behind the standing broom a mystery. If all goes well, Christy Burdett plans to open next week with the broom, the star of the show of her consignment shop. Dollar? And <laughs> what's the deal? Some kind of magic pill? I don't know about a magic pill, but definitely when we lifted it up, you did feel a sense of a magnetic pull, but we never found any magnets. So, so it's just a regular run of the mill broom. Less than $5. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that. I think it's something tricky about that. Tricky is exactly. <laughs> but I stopped by to see it myself. <laughs> That's what they want to do. Don't go